talking about what my brothers and I do during the coronavirus pandemic. The coronavirus pandemic has caused many schools and places to close down. Students at SDIS are now studying online. For instance, my class, the Orcas, we are assigned work on Padlet and Edmonton. Padlet is a website that our class is using to assign homework. This program tells students what to do each day. Our teacher also displays links and important lessons in Padlet. We also have meetings in Zoom. My brothers enjoy talking and going to the meeting in Zoom because he gets to participate and share his opinions through Zoom. Assignments in everyday classes are also displayed in line groups. Teachers in each specific class would be updating work every day. This is an important task that my brothers and I enjoy doing every day. Lastly, I encourage parents and students to participate in the assignments that the teacher has assigned and to stay healthy. Hello, SDIS parents. I'm here to give you an update on the Ministry of Education's announcements and how they affect our school. Currently, the ministry has announced that classes at Thai schools can begin on July 1st. We will watch that situation carefully and see what happens. We hope that everything goes well. If it does, we should be able to open on July 29th, which is scheduled to be our first day of school. If we cannot study in school, we will resume classes online. SGIS is very concerned about the health of the students and their families at home, especially grandparents. At the same time, SGIS is also very concerned about the education of the students. SGIS teachers and administration are working hard to continually improve online classes both now and for the future. If we need to continue to learn online, SGIS will do its best to make it fun and effective for the students. SCIS teachers and administration want to thank all the parents and students for their hard work and patience during this time. We hope to see everyone again very soon. Bye! Hi, I'm Eric from the Orca class and I'm gonna tell the weather for next week. On Monday, we will have sun and cloud. It will be 34 degrees to 26 degrees. On Tuesday, we're going to have sun and cloud. We will have 33 degrees to 26 degrees. On Wednesday, we will have rain. It will be 32 degrees to 27 degrees. On Thursday, we will have thunder. And it will be 32 degrees to 27 degrees. On Friday, we will have cloudy. And we will have 31 degrees to 27 degrees. On Saturday, we will have rain. And it will be... 37 to 24 degrees and on Sunday we will have 32 degrees 24, to 25 degrees and cloud. In this COVID-19 pandemic, people who are in quarantine can feel isolated, boredom and depressed. Some who are living alone can feel isolated because they couldn't come out to see their friends or relatives or to do certain activities that they like. People who are living in a condo medium can feel bored because they don't have a garden or a pool and some activities are forbidden because of quarantine. Some who have a friend or a relative that works in a hospital or has to do with patients and cleaning can feel depressed worrying if their loved ones are in danger or not. The good side is we get to do things we haven't had time to do or explore our interests. With work and everything, it is hard to find time for your hobby. Families who are always busy get a two-month break to spend time in their, with their loved ones. It can ease your mind by giving you time to meditate, to do your hobby, or to just lie around and watch movies. Thank you for listening. Hello, SDS. Today I'm going to tell you about what happened now with the COVID-19 in Thailand. 
So I think that the number of patients in Thailand are lessening every day. And if you go back and look at the number of patients in the last few weeks, you'll see that there are a lot less patients nowadays. Today we have 3,009 patients confirmed, 2,787 recovered, 56 deaths, and 222 people are still in the hospital. And lastly, I hope you stay safe at home and make sure you have something to do at home. See you. Bye-bye. So the coronavirus will most likely end in May. We hope it ends in May because an expert said that the coronavirus doesn't like humid weather or hot weather. And in May, it's starting to be summer and it's gonna be more humid than usual, which will might lower the people getting infected from coronavirus.